Russell Coots of Oracle Racing. Hi, Russell. I think we've, um, we've really got to try and make better decisions on the course about our positioning this regatta. And that's not, uh, that's not down to one person. I think, you know, I didn't have a great regatta as far as that goes. The thing with sport is results do the talking. And at the end of the day, um, you know, we really wanted to win both of the regattas. And as a team, we're very, very competitive. And, uh, we, you know, we've come here to try and improve on a few things. I think it's 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 never easy, you know, to, to, to make these fixes. You know, you've got we've got to work at it. Um, you know, I think most of the races in Cash Guys were won and lost by better tactics. You know, either you know, the, and that was a combination of things. You know, starting a little bit better, um, making better decision, decisions at key points of the race, like the the first mark, uh, whether to, to um, go straight or, or to jibe and go in the other direction. Uh, or the bottom mark gate, how to exit that. You know, these are all key parts of the race. And you know, when you looked at our results, we didn't really you know, make those decisions well. I think there's a few ways. One, you use the analysis. And we've got a great support team, Philippe Presti, Darren Bundock. Um, you know, a lot of guys here that are helping us out with a lot of experience. The other thing is just being completely open and candid with one another. That's probably the most important thing is that you have to be honest and really show where, okay, you know, if I'm struggling in an area, then how do we, how do we fix that, you know, without taking it personally. And I think that's it's a great thing for us to be going through. So what happens when guys come up to you and say, well, it was good for the sport, good, good for the event, but, you know, the Oracle Racing guys didn't dominate? <laughs> I think that's bullshit. <laughs> it's funny, you know, like we've been pushing for uh, passing in racing, but I can tell you in that last fleet race at the last event, the last thing I wanted was any passing opportunities yeah. while we're ahead with Larry Ellison on the back. Yeah. It doesn't change the fact that you have to race well to win races, and we, in that race we didn't sail well enough. The bar's going to be high. You know, I think, I think some of these teams that have been working on it are, are, uh, are going to be tough to beat here, and, you know, it's, you know, as, you, as you'd expect in, in, in any top sport, you know, as, as these, uh, these sailors get, get better and better, the competition's going to get tougher and tougher and you're going to see a lot of these other teams winning these regattas. Yeah, I mean, there's a few teams that will probably be a little bit better prepared. They've put in a lot of work, a lot of training. However, it's a long event. You know, um, and we've decided to come here now. It's our first day here. We really need to go out there and learn the race course. The race course is very, very close to some geographic, you know, to the shore, and the, it's very, very tidal. So we've got to go out there and get a feel for it, and uh, and really get into the swing of it.